Look, I think the future of healthcare is prevention. Right now we have this enormous sick care system which responds to people who are already sick, who have pathologies in place, and I think we have to evolve to a point where we are predicting and preventing illness so that we really have a system that, that is related to health instead of sickness. So I see the future of healthcare as combining multiple sources of data, bringing them together and analyzing them in new ways to really underpin better healthcare for all of the population. So I think there's a real opportunity for engineers and physical scientists to make a real impact by allowing technology to give better quality healthcare at a lower cost. And if you look at what the NHS needs, that's really what it's crying out for. So I think we can uh, help the NHS really sort of meet those challenges for the future. Big question. But I see the future of healthcare is very much being held by the individual. So I have tools and I'll have uh, knowledge and systems to help support them in their own healthcare journey. Doctors and hospitals and other um, clinicians will be a sort of support bubble around that. But I think the driver of the healthcare journey will be the citizen. So I think the future of healthcare will involve much more prevention. So there'll be a lot of work need to be done to uh, encourage people to live um, healthier lives. But also when it comes to treating patients, um, many more treatments available that are more personalised to the specifics of a patient's condition and more tests that can be used um, quickly and cheaply and easily during the patient pathway, not only to determine if they have a disease, but also to monitor their condition and adjust their treatment accordingly. I think the future of healthcare is going to be this, the gentle imposition of technology. S technology that patients are comfortable with, but actually gives both the patient more sense of ownership of what's going wrong with them, but also gives the clinician much better data to be able to make better clinical decisions. Well, I don't know is the answer to that one, but it's going to be quite different. And the reason why it's going to be quite different is that there are huge pressures on society. Society has changed. People have become more individualistic, rightly or wrongly. There are pressures on resources and finance. And so we have to respond to that. How do we respond to that? We respond to that with a whole range of new technologies. These technologies will drive the way healthcare is um, delivered. But on their own, that won't be enough because there's also the caring side of medicine. So really what we've got to figure out is in the future, how do we amalgamate the advantages that technologies bring that we must use because we can't afford conventional um, uh, things like lots of general practitioners, lots of nurses, you know, the resources are limited. We've got to combine that with how we still care for patients as patients. And this is going to be a real challenge and will, I hope, be something that our project, our healthy future, will suss out. <laughs>